In southeast London, the Eltham Hill Odeon was another designed by Andrew Mather. It was only a short distance from the Well Hall Odeon, and in fact was later renamed Gaumont to help distinguish it from its near neighbour. was on stadium lines with the rear raised section built over the entrance hall. It survives as a bingo hall, but the auditorium has lost most of its interest. The Ballamodian in South London had arguably the finest of all the frontages designed by George Coles. Here he once again used a mass of faience facing, uncontrasted with brick and with only a modest interruption by windows. The symmetrical design with its rounded corners and thin tower was wonderfully assured and inviting in its location at the top of Ballam Hill. Its entrance hall was excellent in leading the patron from foyer to auditorium, but some find the juxtaposition of angles and curves conflicting. The organisation of the auditorium decoration was also somewhat confused. The Ballamodium was overall one of the triumphs of the circuit's architecture. George Coles also designed the Brentwood Odeon, seen here in 1973. This was much simpler externally, but, like Ballam, confined the site of brick to the auditorium block behind. Dawn looks grey, get out, get out, and meet the sun halfway. There may be a fortune waiting, or maybe an Had altered little over the years retaining its island pay box in the spacious entrance hall. Get out and meet the sun halfway. The long, narrow auditorium had a streamlined look with illuminated bands in the ceiling and along the side walls. The forward thrust of these features was cleverly terminated in a graceful curve above the proscenium arch and in a right angle bend on the side walls to end up on the Odeon clock. subject to a compulsory purchase order which forced its closure in 1974. New cinemas in the redevelopment scheme were operated by another circuit. <laughs> 